Hello there, this is Baird's Bikes Videos back at you, and I'm here home, down praying again. I feel such a really strong burden today, like I have been every day. <laughs> There's my baby Bubba. That's my Jake. I love you, Jake. But I'm here. Uh, man, I'm down praying desperately for certain ministers to catch fire, rekindle the fire, praying for saints to come back, former saints are the ones that's kind of sidetracked outside of the world. There's a call for you to come back. Now's the time to come back. Now's the time to serve God with a whole heart. Uh, sometimes I just start thinking about family. How desperate I prayed for over the years, and yeah, and I still do. This year, I just have a lot stronger desire. This year than any time in, uh, over my whole life, because this year feels like. It's time for revival. It's time for people to come home to Jesus. Like you, you did your life. You, you accomplished your goals. You uh, are are doing well in life. Maybe you get your got your family. You got your business. You, you're doing well. Got you a good job. Going through school. Doing great. One thing. That we cannot do. As children of God. As. That we, we should not do. Is put. Our Jesus. Relationship. On the shelf. While we do our own thing in this life. Especially when you got callings on your life out there. There's people out there that's got callings. That God wants to use you in a big way. And now he is reaching out for you stronger than ever right now. I know pastors that gave this up. I pray for him a lot. They were good pastors too, good preachers, good singers, real good at musicians on the keyboard, guitar singing, praising God. They were good. And my baby wants to come up here with me. Come on, Jake. Come on, Bobo. I'm sorry, I'm I'm talking to the world. You want to talk to the world? See, no woof, no woofer. I'll woof you. Give me a woof. Chuck, sir. Chuck, sir. Woof. <laughs> Trying to get him bark. Usually, if Jake and bark, my my best friend, brother, oh. Big Chuck. They Jake Jake and Bandit love Chuck. Don't you love Chuck? Don't you? Yeah. He's a good he's a good guy. He coming up here, he's wondering who I'm talking to. I love you, Jake. I'm talking to Jesus down praying. I feel him so strong in my soul all the time. And I look mostly give. I tell you what.
I desperately prayed for the ones that was walking this way. Isn't it time to forgive and let go of the past and come back to Jesus? Don't let circumstances stand in your way. Don't let them stand in your way. Don't let bitterness separate you. Don't, don't let offense turn into bitterness in your heart and separate you. That's why when in the book book of Luke, what's where I go to when I talk when it talks about the take up your cross and deny yourself. The Luke's version, of chapter nine, says daily, do it and follow Jesus. You think that Jesus on the cross? Had an opportunity to be offended and wipe us all out. He could have. He could have very well done. He could have called the legions of angels down and destroy us all. He's God manifested in the flesh. In this human body. We humans kill God manifested in the flesh. But it was all for a purpose. Him dying on a cross was buried in a grave and resurrected the third day. It's the plan of salvation. Repentance, baptism in Jesus' name for the remission of sins and infilling of the Holy Ghost. St. John 3, 8 talks about the sound thereof. The wind will blow it where it listens. So is everyone that was born of the Spirit. That's the sound of the Spirit. And then you go down to Acts chapter 2, verse 1, 2 through 4. And so it was on the day of Pentecost, they fully come. One mind and one accord. And suddenly a sound from heaven comes up as a rushing mighty wind. There comes that sound of the wind. Then it filled the house where they sat and they were all appeared unto them. Clothed in tongues like that fire. It just spread like fire. Clothed in tongues all through the, through the house. They were sitting. It just like spread like a wildfire. They were speaking in tongues. As they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak in tongues. You can receive the Holy Ghost today and speak in tongues. The only key to that is repentance and then asking Jesus to fill you with the Holy Ghost. In Acts chapter 10, they tell you to fill, uh, they were filled with the Holy Ghost while Peter and the apostles were preaching the word. And then while they were preaching, they got the Holy Ghost right while they were preaching. So Peter told him, ask him a question. Should you forbid water that has received the Holy Ghost as well as we? And he commanded him to be baptized in the name of the Lord. A lot of people like to use the NIV version. The NIV says he, he ordered him to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. It's a commandment. It's an order. Baptism is a command. got to take on the name of Jesus, tattoo that name to your soul. Galatians 3.27 says, when you're baptized into Christ, you put on Christ. You got the name of Jesus stamped to your soul. Why wouldn't you want the name of all, name above all names be stamped to your soul? Oh. Oh. I don't know how long I'm going to talk here. But I know i got a strong burden. And a strong passion. <laughs> it's time to come back all the way, pre preachers. It's time to come back to the truth. You can't have... you got to have both. you got to have holiness and servant. You got to be a servant, reach the homeless, and you can't sacrifice the holiness. You got to hold on to both. You don't beat people up with that stuff. The holiness is a beautiful thing. Separation from the world. There, there's nothing wrong with it. 
You can be separate from the world, from the worldly events and worldly things. Don't look, act, dress, or anything like the world. But still have a servant heart. You don't use that to beat other people up. Boy, I got to do it, so I'm going to make somebody else throw a dime in a meter. No. Why can't you do that to, to be please God? You got to please God. That's the only way to please God. Just do that. The Lord twisted my guts. I never let that go. He buckled me to the, my knees. Leave, leave Hollywood alone. Cancel your Netflix videos. Take it, get it where get out of them. Get rid of them. You want to watch stuff? Load there's the we we watch YouTube channels and load up all apostolic Pentecostal stuff, singing, preaching, all that stuff. I'm getting dry, but it's getting dry. Well, I just want to get on here and say a few things. The desperation cry is for you saints that are just kind of half-heartedly serving God and then doing your own thing. It's time to come back home to, to buckle down with the rest of the saints. Combine our prayer for revival like we've never seen before. Sin is still sin, but God is greater. His grace is greater than sin. He'll forgive sin. You just lay it down at his feet. Lord, I'm sorry. I don't want to sin no more. I want to get back 100% right. We, there's some people out there with some gold. I mean, there's some gold people that are strong and gifted in God. Don't let this world take that away from you. Don't let this world take this away from you. Now it's the time to get back to using them gifts. And open up a heart for people. New Hope Apostolic Church of Battle Creek, Michigan. We're getting there. We're getting there. That Pakistan Israel peace deal is getting closer. Once that's done, there's seven years until we go see Jesus in the rapture. At the Battle of Armageddon. I know a lot of people's got different views of that. That's how I look at it. Because I watched Urban Baxter and Dave Robbins show it. Scripture after scripture after scripture. Everybody else says an opinion. They say scripture. What they're, show, they're showing what they're saying. And they show that the Bible says what they're saying. It's time to wake up. The, the greatest revival of all time is right now. Many people will be baptized in Jesus' name and filled with the Holy Ghost. We need that. All right? It's almost 14 minutes. And I had to stop before the 15 minute mark. Because my YouTube won't let me lo upload 15 minutes at a time. Or I had to cut it up. I tried to keep my messages. Under 15. But I will bring to you more messages. I'm going to set me up a, a studio. Clean my room up here and make it look nice. and Get me a camera for my desktop. And do more videos. Alright. I love all of you out there. I love, all you, I love you all. God bless you. And subscribe if you like these videos. I'll bring more to you. Though. Every time I pray... I'm going to bring more to you what God lays on my heart today. He's laid this on my heart. So, all right. God bless you. I love you guys. I love all of you. All right.